It's never too late to give recognition to the heroism of the Special Action Force troopers who lost their lives in a botched anti-terrorist operation in Mamasapano, Maguindanao. President Rodrigo Duterte stressed this as he confirmed the Medal of Valor on the 42 other slain elite policemen more than three years after the bloody incident. Rock Ignacio returns with this report. President Rodrigo Duterte assured justice for the gallantry and dedication of fallen SAF 44. The president said his administration will not give up to serve justice to the bereaved families three years after the Mama Sapano tragedy. Most importantly, I assure you that to remain resolute in ensuring ju justice, no matter how long it takes, will be served. We still have a long way to go in the task of completely liberating our country from the ills that threaten our path to genuine and lasting peace and progress. But I am confident that we can su succeed because we have the full support of the PNP in our efforts to maintain law and order the president awarded the Medal of Valor to the remaining 42 SAF members. He described them worthy as heroes. It comes late, but better late than never. So I'm not uh, attributing anything to anybody except that uh, I am happy that we are able to recognize today the bravery of our police officers. Today we pay tribute to the gallant troopers from the Special Action Force who gave their lives in Mama Sapano a few years ago. Their extraordinary display of bravery during the fateful operation does not just qualify them to receive their high, highly coveted decoration. It makes them worthy to be called as heroes. Two out of 44 members were awarded by the previous administration, namely Senior Inspector Gernat Tabni and PO2 Romeo Sempron. President Duterte gave the same awards to the remaining members, recognizing the successful operations against terrorists of Kifli bin Hir. Let us not just honor our troops' remarkable display of patriotism, patriotism through ceremonies like this. Let us also fight for genuine and lasting peace in our communities, and across the nation, because it is only through this that we can truly honor the legacy of the 44 who gave the ultimate sacrifice in Mama Sapano. The ceremony was led by the widow of Police Chief Inspector Ryan Pabalinas and the families of 41 staff members. President Duterte assured them continued support from the government such as housing, scholarship for their children and jobs. Rocking Nashua for the nation.